Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to get into a detached head state with Git. Um, we've actually got it set up in this diagram below here. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to clear that down and then step through how we actually can reproduce that. So detached head is when your head pointer isn't pointing to a branch, it's actually pointing to a specific commit. So you can see it, the head here pointing to this commit uh, and our branch down here. Um, so how can you get into that situation and how do you get back out of it as well? Uh, right, so let's, let's clear this to start with uh, let's do a get in it in this folder we'll do um, we'll just create a file and put some stuff in it let's put that into main.js uh, we'll add it and we'll do a git commit just call it initial right so we've created a file and we've added it to the index. So let's just get get back to that state. So this would be a normal scenario where our head here uh, is pointing to the master. Uh, that points to a commit. You can see we did the commit and added the comment initial. So that's the commit that got created. And this is a snapshot of our entire repository, which is just one file. Um, so a commit points to our tree here, and that points to our file uh, and the contents of that file are at the moment just the text. Uh, just the text stuff over here. All right, let's create another commit uh, and we'll see what happens because normally when things are set up, uh, if you do another commit, the current branch that you're on will move to that latest commit. So this master here should move to the new commit and the head in this case is pointing to the branch. Um, so that will implicitly move as well. So let's let's see that. Let's see that in action. Let's do um, let's just add stuff to into this file and do a commit there um, and stay stuff to on there. Um, what did I do wrong? Oh whoops yeah we need to go yeah, okay, and if we run the visual tool again, that will update this guy down here. And we should see that everything moves nicely to the second commit. So let's grab our head, master, commit stuff to, which is the one we just did. Uh, and we can see that we've, so the head points to the, to the master branch and that points to the commit that we created. So every time we create a new uh, commit, that becomes the, the, the tip and master is pointing to it. You can see our commits point backwards with this um, parent tag here to previous commits. Uh, right, so how do we get into detached head? Well, when you um, when you do a checkout, you would normally like say git checkout on a branch, but you can do a checkout on a commit. Uh, and that's what we'll just do here now. So let's do, um, I can see this commit down here is 570C. So if I did a git checkout of 570C. Um, now let's just expand this for the second so we can read what it says. It says you are now in detached head state. You look around, make changes. Um, just got to be careful that you, you know things that you create you might lose unless you create a new branch to retain the commits. All right, so we're in a detached state, but what does that what does that look like? So we checked out a commit. Uh, just put this back up here. And I'll run the visual update so we can get it shown here for us. Right, so let's run this again. What do we got? So head is now pointing to the initial commit. Master's where it was, pointing to the latest commit. Um, so this is our detached head state. Head is now down here. Any, if we, um, well, you can't make any changes to the master without checking it back out. Um, but if if we made a change now, um, it wouldn't really be referenced by any branch. So although it's there, it's going to be hard to get to that commit as such. And certainly when you push up to the remote, you, the chances are you're, you're going to lose those changes unless you create a branch on it. So, I mean, let, let's show that. Let's, let's create a new commit again. So let's do stuff three. And put that into main.js. Like that. 
and get that updated. So we should have another commit over here somewhere now. All right, let's run that. All right, head's over here. So head has updated and moved to the new commit. So that still happens, um, but let's get master over there. But there's no branch pointing to this. Um, and so, you know, you can't, you can't, if you push this to remote and someone pulls it down, how are they going to get to this commit? Then, unless they know the hash of it, they're not going to be able to get to it because you would you would do git checkout master or git checkout feature, um, but they wouldn't go git checkout a36f. They wouldn't know how to do that. So, the way to make sure this doesn't get lost is to now create a branch pointer to it, like like master. We can we can create a feature branch here now, and once we've got that in place, then those commits can be accessible. So we could do um, git checkout minus b to create it feature and, we, and that should then get us set up a better here so that that should now be pointing to this stuff three commit and our head will now point to that feature branch as well we won't be detached anymore so here we go yeah head now points to feature which points to that commit uh, below over there and our master branch is still fine over here. So now we're back in a kind of normal sort of scenario where you can get to these commits via a branch and head is following that branch as it moves. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's um, detached head. Hope that was interesting. Give you a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time.